Now here at 6, I-64 West is back open after this massive fire shut it down this morning. The road reopened just before noon after Kentucky Transportation Cabinet inspectors finished checking it. They say there was minor heat damage that can be repaired at a later date, but the structural integrity was not affected. It closed around 5 when firefighters were called to a fire under the expressway. This was at 16th Street and Northwestern Parkway. A vacant one-story building was destroyed. It took 45 firefighters about an hour to get those flames under control. No injuries were reported, and we still don't know what caused that fire. New details tonight on an Indiana state representative who pleaded guilty to driving drunk. Republican Representative Jim Lucas of Seymour will be released from probation early. This month, Lucas asked to end his probation after six months, saying he did not commit any violations during that time and paid all of his financial obligations. He also included a letter from his probation officer that stated Lucas completed a substance abuse evaluation and treatment program. Jackson Superior Court Judge Bruce Mac Travis granted Lucas's request. Back in May, court records show police stopped Lucas walking in Seymour, saying he failed a sobriety test an hour after he crashed. You're seeing some of that dash cam video here. Lucas said in a statement after his plea that he took full responsibility and also apologized for his actions. The newest JCPS board member plans to hit the ground running. WDRB Stefan Johnson spoke to her about one of her biggest supporters. Stefan? Well, that support comes from a local icon and the woman she's replacing on the board. They are both local natives and both passionate about improving public education. Actually,